Youth Runner here with uh, one of the rising stars in Arizona, and that star only got brighter, even though it's a little bit of an overcast morning here at the 44th A6 Mount Carmel Invitational. Caius Lastra from Cibola, 15.48.4, winner of the Division I uh, Boys uh, Junior Race. Just ambitious, courageous, uh, setting the tone, uh, and, uh, and not really worrying about what anybody else uh, was going to do. Uh, how... I mean, obviously there was there was purpose and intent in what you were doing, but how in command did you feel even, even in the third mile? Third mile, honestly, everyone was telling me that the gap was immaculate and huge, but I didn't think so. I kept hearing footsteps behind me, so that just pushed me to keep going faster and faster that third mile. Awesome. Obviously, I don't think a lot of people uh, really you know, put two and two together for all the great Arizona athletes and programs, like they look at it like, oh, they want to come and race in a cooler environment. Yes, that is that is part of the equation. But obviously, those hills, like th uh, that, really kind of uh, gives you a simulation uh, of what it's going to be like at Cave Creek, you know, uh, later on in the season. Like if you can if you can handle a strength course like Balboa Park. Uh, so I know it's only September 21st, Caius, but uh, but just you know, how encouraged uh, were you about you know how your strength and your fitness kind of matched up on this course? Well, I'm glad it did. I'm glad it matched up great this course because this is kind of like a a pre-state for for us down in Arizona. Yep. And to be able to have uh, this kind of performance uh, ahead of another huge opportunity next week, sweepstakes, desert twilight, toka sticks under the lights, just uh, how much encouragement, how much optimism, uh, how much belief after a race like today? Belief. Right now, I believe I can do anything. Right now. I love it. Just uh, in. It, it, I mean, you you always wonder, like, I mean, you you know all the familiar faces uh, and, and all the people that you're going to be competing with, you know, whether it's in your division or just your geographic area in Arizona. But then you kind of come here and it's just kind of like, okay, uh, I, I, I have to expect the best. Uh, but just uh, uh, how proud are you that you just you know, stayed within yourself and raced Caius Lastra's race and, and, and you kind of just... You know, not disrespectfully, but just kind of everybody else was nameless and faceless out there. Like they're gonna have to come catch you. Honestly, I feel feel me. Wait, hold, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot what was the no, question. Uh, uh, just the fact that you, that you stayed true to yourself, right? Because you, like, I mean, you, I mean, obviously, coaches want you and your all your teammates to come out and focus on being the best version of yourself, right? Like you can't you can't waste any time worrying about people from California that you literally might see once in your life. You know, so just uh, how uh, you know how significant and, and how important was it for you just to stay true to who you are and what, what works best for you? I'm glad that I stayed me out there and then I got to see a little bit of my teammates like improve like like they had big jumps from, from last year's yeah. course. And I'm just glad that they got to do better in PR. Speaking of big jumps, uh, how, you, I mean, obviously we're seeing it in the results, but obviously one thing I appreciate about you and your teammates in the Cibola program, it's process oriented, right? Uh, so how encouraged have you been about like the work that occurred, you know, through track and in the summer, you know, you know, through August, early part of September to, uh, to build up to today? Like just how, you know, just how much kind of more in a rhythm and in, in a flow do you feel like you know, in 2024 versus the past couple years? I feel like this is the best version of me being uh, just locked in and in that flow state. And then for my teammates, I feel like they can just only get better. Awesome, man. Last thing, speaking of, uh, of, of Twilight, you're an intelligent guy. You know you're not going to be your, uh, by yourself out there. Yeah, but, I, mean, but, I know that. But, uh, but, uh, but you, I mean, but obviously after a performance like today where you know you can handle it by yourself, mm -hmm. like do you, do you welcome the, uh, the fact that it's like, hey, now I want people, you know, uh, I, like let's work together, you know, whether we're from Arizona, Colorado, you, you know, U, uh, Utah, Texas, like let's everybody work together to get another PR. Like, I mean, do you feel like that's kind of the next, like, next logical, next gradual step for you? Yes, I feel like all those guys that are faster than me will just only push me to PR. Get, just get keep on hitting faster PRs. Fantastic. 15.48.4 uh, during the morning time. We're going to see him at the night time under the lights at Toka Sticks at Desert Twilight uh, the next time he competes. Caius Lastra, stay healthy and best of luck at Desert Twilight. Thank you.